On August 7, 1990, Operation Desert Shield began in response to Iraq's invasion of Kuwait. The operation led to the largest deployment of United States combat forces since the Vietnam War. Ultimately, there would be almost 670,000 coalition forces from 28 countries. Some 30 years ago, President George H.W. Bush addressed the American people from the Oval Office. At my direction, elements of the 82nd Airborne Division, as well as key units of the United States Air Force, are arriving today to take up defensive positions in Saudi Arabia. Welcome to the final installment of our series marking the 30th anniversary of Desert Shield and the SAC band deployment in support of that tremendous operation. The whole deal was to go when the troops need us. Right. So if that was Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, that's when we should go. I have twin girls. They were just about nine or 10 years old at that time. We were used to me being gone. Uh, being in the band, we were on the road quite a bit. My wife was active duty at that time, and so certainly she understood, and that helped a lot. I do remember thinking, you know, what a wonderful idea to be able to go take their minds off of what was going on. And they'd been sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting, and, and I mean, it was Desert Shield, so they, they were fancy. They started packing everything up and, uh, you know, giving us all these preparations. Before I knew it, man, we were piling on a plane. Let's go. Once in theater, the Desert Band executed 24 performances in 28 days at locations in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Yemen, Oman, and Diego Garcia. Their high energy and diverse shows brought a taste of home and some much needed entertainment for over 32,000 personnel from all four branches of the U.S. military, as well as troops from Ireland, Italy, Great Britain, France, Scotland, and Sweden. The best memories are being on that stage with a sea of people, a sea of GIs out there. And they just were, the, right. the smiles on their faces and, you know, reaching out. And there's a couple of pictures where they're like actually reaching out. Um, it, it made a world of difference for them. And I think that that is the most treasured experience that I come back with. Uh, to see the look on the faces of all the troops. On, on many of the locations, we do multiple gigs because the, the groups were working in shifts. And so, you know, you'd play for this, and then another group would get off from work, and then you'd play another show. And uh, the accolades and the, and the gratitude, just the, hey, thanks for coming to do this. Uh, those, you, you can't trade those. It, we always look back at it as some, one of the greatest things we've ever done. Everybody in the group, I'm sure, you know, looks back on that trip and goes, oh man, that was the coolest thing we ever did. This was something that I'll never, ever, ever forget and was certainly the highlight of my military career. Well, fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Yeah. I want to get into it, man, you know. Yeah. Moving, yeah. grooving, yeah. doing it, yeah. ripping it up, to be my to be number of uh, letters that had come in to the band from from audience members thanks for the show it was great tell everyone in america especially kansas city i said hi maybe i'll run into you in kc sometime if i ever get out of here alive well gotta go send this off before the war starts your friend in the desert 
Whitney. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it sounds like we did our job. It sounds like what what they needed. I'm so honored to have been part of that, truly. This was from a first lieutenant who was with an air refueling wing. I want to thank the SAC band for giving up Christmas at home in order to bring some life to our Christmas in Desert Shield. You can't hide genuine emotion, and genuine emotion is what you showed. You were exactly what this place needed. Wow, <laughs> you know, some 30 years later, that, 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 that's, that still in, in, invokes emotion in me. Uh, we took it to every gig like that, Doug, mm. and, and obviously it made a difference with people. You can't hide genuine emotion, and genuine emotion is what you showed. You were exactly what this place needed. Yeah. That's that, a pretty cool note. It is a beautiful note. Uh, yeah. And we felt that too. We uh, we had new appreciation for what we could do. I mean, as far as making people just making people happy for a little while, yeah. Because uh, they were some worried people. We didn't know what we were getting into in this war at the time. General Chain, sir, I want to thank you for sending the SAC band to the AOR. The positive response has been tremendous. The timing could not have been better. From all of us, the troops at Desert Shield. My thanks to the great warriors of the SAC band. And this was written by a Brigadier General, Pat Caruana. I, I think that our presence there, uh, it, it met its goal. If we had the chance to do it all over again, even if we were going to do it today, I would get right in my uniform, and I still fit my uniform, Jack, and I'd be on that plane ready to go. If I remember right, there was a very special encore that uh, the Desert Band performed. Do you recall that, and what do you remember about that? I believe we did America the Beautiful 